Welcome to Gorilla 5. This video tutorial is going to go over the scheduling module in 10 minutes. Now there are over 5 hours of video lessons on our training page, which goes over all the modules in a lot of detail, including scheduling, budgeting, contacts, locations, and storyboarding. This video is designed to get your feet wet and start scheduling immediately, so we are going to go fast. Throughout this lesson, I will be referring to other lessons for a more in-depth explanation about that module, where all your questions can be answered. All videos can be found on our training page. Okay, let's get started since we only have 10 minutes. For this tutorial, I'm going to load one of our sample schedules. Select the green Add button to load a schedule. Select the Load button. Select the Hotel Cucaracha schedule. Click OK to load the schedule. After the schedule is loaded, select it to make it active. From the toolbar, select the Breakdown button. Here, all the breakdown sheets are found for this schedule. If you want to learn how to import a screenplay into Gorilla from one of your favorite screenwriting programs, see Lessons 1 and 2. To go to a different scene, select the scene in the Scene Navigator. You can modify the IE, SET, and DN fields here. Notice the color of the scene changes if you change the DN fields. On the left are your standard categories. Selecting one will show you all the elements for that category in the next column. The column on the right shows you all the elements scheduled for that scene. To add an element to a scene, select the blue arrow. To remove it, select the red X. To add an element not in the list, select the green Add button to create the new element. To learn more about breakdown sheets, there are three lessons you can view. They are Lessons 3, 4, and 5. Now, elements are considered anything you need to be scheduled for that scene. This includes props, costumes, makeup, and even cast members. The Element Manager allows you to manage all of your elements, so let's go there. To manage an element, select the category, then the element. Once it is highlighted, you can add description to that element, see the scenes attached to that element, and even add more scenes to that element from here. You can add multiple photos or images for that element. You can link elements together. Let's link the plunger and the food spatter t-shirt to the cast member Barney. Create the group. Now click the green Add button above the second column and select the plunger. And do it again. And select a different category and add another element. Clicking the Relink button will add the plunger and the t-shirt to all instances of Barney on your breakdown sheets. Let's create one new cast member. Click on the green Add button for that category. Once created, you can now add that character to a breakdown sheet. To learn more about how to manage elements, watch Lessons 6, 7, and 8. Next, all scenes need to be scheduled on a shoot day. So let's go to the calendar to see our shoot days. According to the schedule, there are five shoot days. To make one an off day, select the off day for that row. This changes the shoot days to four. Call times for the shoot day are displayed here. Click on the call time to enter specific information for that call time and to add crew for that shoot day. Clicking this button will import all the crew entered in the contacts module. You can then modify the call times for each individual crew member. In the meals and shots tab, you can enter specific information that will print on a call sheet, including first shot, last shot, etc. 
If you want to add a shoot day, select the Edit Phase button. In the Shoot Days tab, change the end date to the next day and click OK. To learn more about shoot days, the calendar, and how to enter crew call times, see Lessons 9 and 10. Now that we have our shoot days, let's go to the strip board. The strip board shows you the scenes and the shoot days. Drag the shoot day break to a position on the board. This tells you that these scenes here are now scheduled to be shot on this shoot day. To move multiple strips, hold down the shift key and then drag. Here are the strip board command buttons that allow you to save the board, create a new board, insert a banner, automatically insert day breaks on the board, move strips to the boneyard, etc. When you close the board, using the close button on the bottom of the screen, you will be asked to save the board. Only after the board is completed will you be able to see cast call times in the cast call times tab. These cast members displayed here are pulled directly from the strip board for this shoot day. If you modify the board and move one or more of these cast members out of this day, the corresponding cast here will also be changed. Let's create a new board. You can have multiple boards, but only one can be your default board. To see all the boards for your schedule, select this button. Here, you can modify preferences for this board. You can also delete a board. To create a new board, select the New Board button. Name the board and attach it to a production phase. A new board will be created. Now, unless you flag it as default, the other board will be the default board for all the reports. To learn more about the strip board, see Lessons 11, 12, and 13. Now, I want to show you how to add actors and crew. To do this, go to the Contacts module. Select the Contacts button on the toolbar and select All Contacts. On the left, you will see all your contacts for the current schedule. You can filter the list to just see actors or crew. Each contact can belong to one of three categories shown here. This record, for example, is a contact attached to the actor category, so you will be able to access info from the Actor Info tab down here. Add headshots to your actors and cast them to characters from your schedule here. Add contact information here. Mark a default phone or email for this contact if desired. Let's go to a crew member. Notice the tab down here changes to crew. This is where you can add or modify a title for this crew member. Gorilla comes preset with a hundred titles to choose from. To manage these titles, select Manage Crew, Title, and Departments from the Edit menu. This is also where you can specify a sort for the titles on crew reports and call sheets. I showed you how to add a crew member and call time to a shoot day. Here in the Shoot Days and Call Times tab, you can add shoot days to a crew member. Let's print a few reports. From the File menu, select Print. Scheduling reports are just that, information pulled from the scheduling module. Production reports are reports needed for production. However, all production reports will not print correctly unless the strip board is completed. Each of these reports can be sampled before printing them. Since there are so many reports in Gorilla, it can help you immensely to see what a report will look like before you print it. If the report has a preference button next to it, you can modify certain ways the report will look, or what data will or will not be included in the report. Some of the reports you want to take a look at are Breakdown Sheet Summary, The Strip Board, and Call Sheets. 
Now, there's obviously a lot more to Gorilla than I've explained in the last 10 minutes, including locations for location managers, shot lists for directors and DPs. But I hope this quick tutorial helps you get started using Gorilla for your production. Have a great shoot. Mm -hmm.